All right, hey, um, I intend on finishing all the series that I started. I don't think I started that many, but this was one of them, so I figured I might as well do it. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a Hoenn Pokemon tier list, and um, yeah, that's it. My, my, I know my charisma is alarming, and you just want to know my opinion, because I know you do, for sure. So, anyway, to start, we've got Trico. Um, also, this will be a work in progress, of course. Like, I'll probably move things around a bit as I go. We'll see. Uh, right off the bat, Trico's a B for me. He's okay. You know, he, he's like a cute little lizard man, but he's... Eh, not that cute. He's not that cool either. He's just kind of meh. We've got Grovile. A tier. Uh, mostly because of Mystery Dungeon. Uh, great character in that game. Gotta, gotta be honest, he's cool. Um, I don't- I'm not a huge Grovile fan otherwise, but, you know, he puts him in A tier for me. Septile, A tier as well. Uh, he's cool. He was cool when Ash used him. Septile's, you know, just, just a cool Pokemon. He, like, has grenades on his back. He's got, like, Frenzy Plant and stuff. He's kinda cool in Pokemon, you know, he's there. Torchic. Torchic's cute. Cute enough to go into A. I like Torchic a lot. Combuskin. It's awful. I mean, look at it. It looks terrible. It's just... He's a kicking chicken. I mean, that's Blaziken's thing too, but Combuskin's just the same, but worse, right? Like, I don't know if you guys agree or not, but I feel like... Generally speaking, Combuskin's gotta just be Blaziken but not as cool, and not as developed. Which, I'm gonna put Blaziken Nest here. I know, um, maybe some people will think, well, overrated, Blaziken's not that cool. Well, you know what, I think he is. Not only do I think he's cool, uh, he's really good, and that helps. Being good helps, honestly. Like, I would love to just talk about their design, but like, when you use these Pokemon for years and years, it kind of affects your opinion of them. Um, let's see. Oh, right. I guess I didn't clarify that at first. Yeah, these are just- this is just my opinion of how I feel of these Pokemon. Um, yeah. Not how good they are competitively. Which I could do a tier list for that later, but that's not what this is right now. Mudkip! Obviously. S tier. Super good meme Pokemon. It's adorable. It's great. Um, I was a Mudkip in the first Mystery Dungeon game. Um, and I'd really love Red and Blue Rescue Team. For a long time, I liked it better than Explorers of Time and Darkness, and I know people will not agree with me there, but I just did. Eventually, though, when Sky came around, I, like, decided the Sky was my thing. Yeah, so I thought Explorers of Sky was so future complete that it was just, it was just better. Better than Time and Darkness, and it was better than Red and Blue Rescue Team. It's just... Maybe you don't agree with me, but I think so. Marshtomp, let's see. He's kind of lame. I mean, he's got that dopey face thing going on, which to some people is an upside. You know, it's like, oh yeah, it's so cute, I guess. But, you know, not for me. Swampert. This is tough, but I'm going to put him in S tier for now. Swampert is cool. He is good, and, um, you know, you get to pick Mudkip when you get Swampert, so that works. Works for me. Puchiana is kind of cute. I'll put him in B. Like, I really liked Puchiana when I was a kid. I really like its design. It's like a, it's a dark type, and, uh, I played a f Leaf Green first, and there no dark types in that game as far as I remember. Pretty sure. There's no dark types. I don't know. You can fact check me on that. And uh yeah, Puchiana was also like the first Pokemon card I bought. Like I bought like Team Aqua's uh foil Puchiana for like five bucks online when it first came out. And I thought it was so cool. 
And I still think it's cool. I don't know if I still have that card. Well, I probably do, but it's in a box somewhere that I don't know. Uh, My Diana is bad and lame. Um, yeah, it's not cute. In my opinion, it's not cool. It's got like a bald spot problem. It's it's like a clown with his makeup. No, 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 no. My Diana's not it. It's not it. It's just, nah. Uh, Zigzagoon? It's a cutie. He's a raccoon. You know, he's nice. Uh, I like his attacks in uh, XE Yellow of Darkness, you know? He's, you know, a really cute Pokemon. Linoon's kind of the same. Probably a little worse. It's not as cute, not as fuzzy. Uh, he's got good animations in XD as well, though. You know, well, Linoon's alright. Wurmple? Alright, I used to not care for Wurmple that much at all. Uh, but then there was an event in Pokemon Go where Wurmple had a hat, and, uh, I like Wurmple with a hat. I like Wurmple with a hat a whole lot. So, he goes to A tier for me. If you want to fight me that I like Wurmple, then, uh, do so. You know, I'll fight you back. I will. Wurmple's great. This is cute. And wiggly. And, you know, what else could you want? Uh, F tier. Silcoon's awful. Silcoon's ugly. Um... No upside, really. Beautifly... B tier. It's pretty. And that's it. It is a worthless Pokemon. It is just worse Butterfree, and Butterfree is a really bad Pokemon, at least in my opinion. Uh, rip Beautifly. Kazkun? Better than Silcoon, but like... Come on, dude. Dustox. Uh... Pretty cool. Yeah, cool Pokemon. I like Dustox. Uh, I'm gonna move you to fly down. I like Dustox. Um, I, I hate moths. Like, in real life, they're awful. I hate them. But, Dustox is not that bad. You know, he's... Cool. Jessie had a Dustox that was cool. And she was a cute Dustox. Who flew off into the sunset. Well, actually, the moon, but, you know. A bunch of other dust dogs. It was nice. It was a good episode. Uh, Lotad is cool. I like Lotad. I like his hat. He's blue. He's a dock thing with six legs. I mean, I just think he's unique and interesting. And, you know, he's one of those designs in Pokemon that you just see and you're like, oh, that's nice. Far from generic, at least as far as I'm concerned. Lombre, on the other hand, eh. 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 Like... Kinda just looks... Like... A really scuzzy, like... See, how do I- how do I say this without sounding like, uh... What was the word I'm thinking of? Um... Intolerant. Yes, intolerant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, he's just got that look of a guy that's gonna stab you in the stomach when you're not looking. And he'll probably steal your wallet and laugh at you. And, uh, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't like Lombre. Sorry, Lombre. Ludicolo, on the other hand, S tier Pokemon. That's my homie right there. He dance, and... He's pretty good with rain. You know, I think he's a criminally underrated Pokemon in rain. Like, this thing's hydro pumps hit. They hit hard. But yeah, you know, I like Ludicolo. He's good. Uh, I'll stand by that. I think he's good. And he is hilarious. He's just like a poncho duck. And in the Detective Pikachu movie, he's great. Like, this. What's wrong with him? He's good. Mirror B's like Ace, dude. Hold on. I'll, I'll probably be playing the Mirror B theme the whole time I'm talking about Ludicolo. Like, he's just, he's good. He's a good, good Pokemon. Uh, let's see, Seedot is a seed. I guess he's an acorn, but an acorn's a seed. I think. Pretty sure. 
If you're gonna correct me, feel free to. I, I'm not hurt either way. Then we have a nipple leaf. Um, why? But, but why though? Why does Machamp not have nipples? But Nuzleaf does? I... I don't get it. I, I, I honestly have no idea. But hey, you know what? It's where the Nuzlocke name comes from. Anyone didn't know that. Doesn't make him a cooler Pokemon, though. Shiftry! He's alright. Very middle of the road. I like him. Um, he's pretty okay in Sun. Oh, actually, I think he got Solar Blade, so maybe he's a little better than Mediocre. He's probably about as good as Ludicolo, to be honest, but whatever. I don't like him as much. He's pointy. He's got his Jiraiya feet. I don't know. Whatever. Taylo is a bird. Swellow is a slightly cooler version of the same bird. That's it. That's all I have to say about them. They are not that interesting to me. Wingull. Uh... Jeez... He sure is Wingull. Those animations in Sword and Shield, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Wingull. Sorry. Sorry, bro. You're... It... If there is an it, you are not it. Sorry. It's just gotta be that way. Uh, Pelipper. I hated Pelipper a lot more, and then it got Drizzle and Hurricane. And really, it just kind of gets to a point where you're like, well, I guess we can be friends. You know, if you're gonna give me that. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, Pelipper's good. Uh, Ralts is adorable. I love Ralts. I love the episode with Ralts and Max in Toen. Um, I always got a cute little hat. I guess it could be a girl as well, but you know, whatever. I like Ralts. It's a cutie. And, uh,. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's one video with uh, Wally catching a shiny Ralts. It's great. Um, yeah, I I've actually bred for a shiny Gardevoir myself before, and um, it's worth it. It's a cool Pokemon. Um, Curlia is kind of lame, in my opinion. Just too too lady. Um, even worse if you're trying to evolve into Gallade. Like, what an awkward teenage year. Like, oof. Not even a year, it's more like a couple levels. Less than that, because you just give it a dawn stone. Well, then you kind of ruin this level up. No, you don't, actually. You don't ruin this level up because it doesn't even learn the Gallade move as a Curly. Yeah, never mind. Forget what I'm saying. Whatever. Dude, Curly is lame. Um, Gardevoir's great. Everyone thinks that Gardevoir's great. Gardevoir's awesome. Um, you know, the hentai's pretty good too. I mean, gotta say it, come on, like, if we're talking about Gardevoir, it's pretty fun. Pokken, you know? So is Blaziken. I, I didn't mention him before, but you know, he's, he's there. He's pretty cool, dude. Um, yeah, you know, I, I like Gardevoir. She's pretty good. I mean, she was pretty good in Gen 3, then she was pretty bad in Gen 4 and 5, and then she got Fairy-type, and she became relevant again, and she got Omega. And she became even more relevant. And then she lost her Raga, and now she's kinda mediocre again, actually. Um, sucks to suck. Surskit, I love this Pokemon. It's adorable. It's like a little water skating, little hat wearing cutie patootie with blush marks. Reminds me of, like, Spider Kirby or something. Okay, that sounds cursed, but whatever. I like Surskit. And. Masquerine, I like a lot. I don't know why. It took me a long time to like this Pokemon, but just one day I was like, oh, Quiver Dance, Sticky Webs, you know, U-Turn, Focus Sash, you know, it's just... I don't know, it was, I was having a good time. I'm like, wow, this is a cool Pokemon. I like using it. 
And they kind of look like Eggman. They've got their little angry eyes and their nose and their mustache. I don't know, I like it. It's very unique. I like unique Pokemon. I don't know, it does it for me. Um, also a Pokemon that I caught a shiny of in um, X and Y and I trained up. One of my favorites, gotta be honest. Um, Shroomish is... Shroomish. There you go, Shroomish. You're cool, I guess. Breloom is actually pretty cool. It's pretty strong, but he's hard to use. Or at least he tends to be when I use him. Because he doesn't generally outspeed, but he does a ton of damage if he attacks. And he's got the those Technician Mach Punches, which are pretty good. Yeah, it's just a decent Pokemon, to be honest. They're worth picking up, for sure. I mean, less so if you're playing uh, Ruby Sapphire, but if you're playing Omega Ruby and Omega Sapphire, you know, you get that hidden ability, get him going. Slackoth is kind of cute. Vigoroth is kind of ugly. And maybe even lower, to be honest. I don't really like Vigoroth. Slacking can go up to B tier just for his meme ability. This was Choice Banded Giga Impacts, man. Like, that's, that's what you live for. You always want to do it, but you know that you can't. But with slacking, it's like, what else am I going to do, bro? And then they're like, well, I guess. So then you can do it. And then you're like, yes, finally. My choice banded Giga Impacts. They're coming to fruition. Also, he's a pretty good defensive mono Pokemon Go. One of the best, if I had to say. You just fall off him in a gym. You know, he does a good job there. Uh, Ninkata is alright. He's... You know, Ninkata, I have nothing to say, to be honest. I didn't know this Pokemon existed until 5th gen when I was trying to do Wonder Guard shenanigans. I was like, what? Mm, this Pokemon is real? Yeah, I, I don't know. He's, he's there. Jask is kind of scum. Do I like speed passing? Yes. Do I like when other people do it? Not really. Whatever. He stays here. Shininja's alright, because Wonder Guard and memes and stuff. I don't know. He's kind of unique. I mean, he looks cool. He's got like his halo and stuff going on, but most of the time he just dies. He's just so bad. But hey, you know what? You get a skill swap, like a, a funny skill swap going on, and you're good to go. You got it. Um, Wismer is alright, actually. I kind of like Wismer. He's purple. I like his eyes. Um,. We used to make a joke, me and my friends, when we were little, that the Wismer Cave, um, in between, uh, Rustboro and, uh, Vernon Turf, like, the s it was all steamy in there, and, like, tinted yellow, so we used to say that it was just full of Wismer piss, and I know, I know, that's disgusting, and, probably not funny to you now, but when we were, like, eight, it was hilarious. Like, I don't know. We, we thought we were the coolest kids ever by talking about the Wismer Piss Cave. Uh, yeah. Loudred's awful. Sorry, Loudred. Um, yeah, time and darkness can't save you. Can't save your design. I hate it. Explod's pretty cool. He's got a lot of pipes. He piping. And in Gen 6, he actually became a pretty okay Pokemon. Like, he was pretty bad. Gotta be honest, he was pretty, pretty bad. And then he got Boom Burst. Which is, like, his unique move, basically. But in Oras, I guess that makes sense. That they would give him one. But he came out next and Y. Whatever. It's fine. Pretty alright Pokemon. Honestly. I like using him. He's not great, but he's okay. He's a good, good middle of the road Pokemon for me. Um, Makuhita. It's kind of cute. I was always mortified as a kid, because I was like, what happens if you untie his head? What happens? Does his head, like, 
unfold like a basket, like his disgusting brain just falls out? Like, in soup? Because he's like a dumpling head? It's just soup and brain in there? I was terrified. I was like, bro, this Pokemon's awful. But I mean, as I grew up, I was just like, well, maybe if you just untied his head, it'd just be two bunny ears or something. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. Whatever. Whatever happens with Makuhito, he's okay. Hariyama is okay as well. He's fine. No, no, I never liked using him that much. He's there for me. But he's fine. You know, he's fine. Azrael is miserable and wants to die. Thank you for making this Pokemon game. Like, I appreciate it. He was born into this world only to want death. Nose pass. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how many people like this Pokemon, but it's just an Easter Island head. With feet. Kind of. It's it was so bad in third gen. Um, I. It was really rare too. Like, why would? Why with this Pokemon? Like, why? It looks bad. It is bad, and it's hard to get. Like, that's the trio of forgettable Pokemon-itis, right? Like, Stantler. Stantler looks bad, is rare, and sucks. So why would you ever use Stantler? Like, Nosepass has the same problem. Um, Skitty's adorable. That's good enough for C-tier. Uh, my friend loves Skitty. Um, a lot. Tried to run through the game uh, of Ores with just a Skitty, didn't evolve it. Yeah, you know, Simple's... Simple. No, it's not Simple, it's Normalize. Normalize is an interesting ability, too. Um, it can do some things. You know, having, like, Normal-type T-Wave can be useful. It can be. Um, and Delcaddy is... Alright. It's okay. I actually didn't know Delcaddy existed until I played Pokemon XD. Then I was like, what is this purple cat thing? I'm like, wait, Skitty evolves into this? And I was like, wait, I need a Moonstone? I can evolve Skitty? Man, games were so much more fun as a kid when I couldn't use the internet. Because if I didn't know something, I just had to figure it out. Or I was shit out of luck. And I know some of you might be listening to me going like, oh, Boomer, you know, that doesn't sound fun at all. It really was. Like, especially for like MMOs, just exploring a world suboptimally, using the moves that you just think are the coolest, suboptimally, and just like, you don't know what you're doing. So you just do it. It's so much fun. And the game is harder generally because of that, but it's usually balanced around it being that hard. So it being harder just makes it more fun, or at least for me, it did. But nowadays, I know exactly what to build, exactly where to go, exactly how to level up quickly, and if I do anything less, then people just go, wow, you're trolling, you're throwing, like you're an idiot. I'm sorry. I apologize. Like for a long time, okay, this is a rant, but I'm making this rant, for a long time, in like League of Legends, I just built what I thought was good, and I used the masteries that I thought were good for every character. Even if it was suboptimal, I just tried things out, because I thought it was good. Eventually, U.GG and like Champion.GG and stuff came out, and told me what was the best thing to do. And then I just did that, and I never looked back. Like, why well, think for myself anymore? It's just suboptimal to think for myself. It's slower to think for myself. And recently I've been trying not to do that, but it's hard not to. Because then you lose and you're like, well, maybe we lost because I built the wrong item. Or I leveled the wrong move first. It just, it feels so bad, dude. It feels really bad. That's just me. And if you're wondering why I don't make guides, that's why. I don't think guides are fun. I do think they're useful, but, you know. 
Stabilize a cool Pokemon. Yep. I know I'm switching off the tangent that quick. He's pretty cool. His Mega's alright. We're not talking about it though. Um, Sableye's pretty cool. I can't really say a lot about him. Prankster's a scum ability. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Sableye, for that. Uh, thanks, Fairy type, for ruining everything. Um, speaking of Fairy types ruining everything, Mawile is here. And Mawile is probably B. Mawile's cute. She's terrible in Gens 3, 4, and 5. In Gen 6, she became viable again because they gave her a Mega, and that was great, and Megas were great, and they were an incredible addition to Pokémon. They made a lot of people's favorites actually viable, like Aggron, which we're coming up to next. And then they were like, haha, we're getting rid of it. I was like, what? What? Why? Why not just make them regular evolutions then? You don't have to have Salamence have a Mega, but like... Mawile? You just gave her fairy typing and a mega. People were like, oh, this cool Pokemon that was cute and I liked for a long time but was bad, I can finally use, and then you took that away. Like, that's worse than just her being bad the whole time. Easily, easily that's worse. Whatever. Mawile's cool. By herself. Aeron's adorable. And I love cheesing people with the level 1 Aeron strat. I know I'm scum, but it's fun to do. Layron's pretty cool, actually. It's like an Iron Rhino. He, in my opinion, he's just cooler Rhyhorn. And he is pretty much just cooler Rhyhorn, but, you know. And Agron, in my opinion, is just cooler Rhydon. That one people might disagree with me on, but in my opinion, he's just cooler Rhydon. That's all there is to it. But, mm, spoiler alert, Gen 4 right on evolves again, and then, you know, then we have something to talk about. Uh, Metatype. It's lame. No one cares about this book. Honestly, F. Screw, screw Metatype. Stung. It's like a diaper wearing baby that just floats around, meditating all the time. Like, get out of here. Look at a monkey with a dumpling head. We already have a dumpling head Pokemon. We don't need two. Get out. Metacham. It's okay. I like huge power Metacham. High jump kicking people and missing and killing yourself is really cool. Really fun. Electric is fine. Manectric is pretty cool. I like Manectric. Uh, I never used one when I was playing through the games the first time. But I had a foil Manectric card that I really, like, treasured. Thought was really cool. Yeah, I don't know. I like, I like Manectric. I like his color scheme. It's very Hoenn. Lots of blues in Hoenn. And greens. <sighs> How do you feel nostalgic for something that, like, you played, like, a month ago? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Minon and Plusil. Dude, this is gonna be controversial, but I love Minon and Plusil. I think they're adorable, I think they're cool, I love using them together in doubles. I, uh, actually have two puppets of Minon and Plusil. One for each hand, you know? It's cute. Uh, yeah, I like them. I like Minon and Plusil. Yeah. Old Beats Trash. You when you say Trash. Uh, never speak to me about these Pokemon. Thank you. Roselli is cute. She's alright. In this gen, she's kind of bad. She's fine. She's better than Nosepass. And easier to find. So. Rip. But yeah, you know, Roselli is, Roselli is cool. Gulpin's adorable. Yeah, B tier even. Love Gulpin. It's a silly little boy. I love his assist trophy. I don't know if it's in Ultimate. I don't think it is. He just eats people. It's great. Thanks, Gulpin. Uh, Swalot is just less funny Gulpin. 
And he's got a mustache, though. The first time I saw this Pokemon was in the uh, Relgum Tower in XD. I was like, what the heck is this thing? I've never seen this Pokemon before. And you know what? Uh, that's fine. You know, he's kind of just worse Muck, which is weird because Muck is bad. Sorry, Swalot, but oof. Carvana is pretty cool. Actually, you know what? I like Carvana's design a lot. I think it looks awesome. Sharpedo's pretty good too. I like Sharpedo's design. I always hated hitting it and dying to rough skin, but you know. Like, speed boosting Sharpedo is pretty cool. Like, Sharpedo's a pretty strong Pokemon. He's not the strongest, but he's pretty good. He's got Crunch and uh, Waterfall. I don't know if he has Liquidation, but you know, maybe he does. He's cool. He's got like a star on his head. You know, he's got like a star here. He, like, it's supposed to be a scar, I think. I don't know. I like him. Whalmer! Great Pokemon. He's adorable. He's memey. He's floopy and bouncy and flies, I think, according to the lore. And so does Whale Lord, who's an A tier Pokemon, by the way. Um. Yeah, I don't really know why Game Freak doesn't understand how size and weight and, like, well, anything works, to be honest. I don't understand how they don't understand how anything works, but in more Whale Lord's case especially, uh, supposedly he just, you know, fly through the air. That's just something he can do. It's not a flying type, it's just a water type. He's cool though, he's huge. He's boofy and floofy. I wish he was better. He should be better. He deserves to be, but, you know. What you gonna do? Uh, Nummel. He's a cutie pie. I love his little Nummel cry. Camera up is pretty cool. I actually like camera ups. Once again, a Pokemon I never used, but Fire Ground is such a fun offensive typing. Like, you just go in. Go in with like flamethrower and earth power or even more with fire blast and like well earthquake doesn't really work as well but you know you could do it anyway and he's just he's a cool pokemon he is really i vouch for him um torkoal is okay he's pretty forgettable i liked him in the anime ash used him a lot way more than he probably should have for being a torkoal Corfish too? Like, man, Ash loved that Corfish. Every episode, it was, go, Corfish! Like, you'd expect him to, like, send out Pikachu sometimes, but no, it was Corfish every time. That was, like, his ace, and it never evolved. Somehow. You know what? I might as well just put him on the list, because I talked about him. There he is. He's Corfish. Yeah. Torkoal got drought eventually, but no one really uses him still. Rip. Rip Sun teams, I guess. They're just bad. Um, Spoink. It's adorable. That alone puts him in B tier. I remember that one episode where Spoink lost his pearl. And then he had to get it back from a clam pearl. That was a great, a great episode. It was adorable. Ugh, sorry. Um, anyway. Yeah, Spoink's a cutie pie. Grumpig's pretty cool too. Grumpix and never another one of those Pokemon where when you're just playing through Gen 3 casually, you probably will never see. Um, he's not very good either, and you have to train a Splunk to a pretty unreasonably high level. Yeah, but I like his design. So there he is. He, he's here. He's a little pearl pig. Thanks, Grumpig. Spinda is great. Yep. He, he attack, he protect, and he's used superpower contrary, and it's funny as heck. <laughs> Thank you, Spinda. And, you know, Spinda's cute in Explorers of Sky as well. You know, he's just... I don't know, and I like the gimmick. I do. I like the gimmick of the millions of different spot combinations. It's so good. Trap Inch. S tier. Love this Pokemon, think it's adorable. If I had to choose a Pokemon to start a Pokemon journey with, it would be Trapinch. I know, generic to say. Like, wow, another person who likes Flygon? Well, you know what? 
suck my bum. Vibrava is like C tier at best. Vibrava is just. I mean, he's a dragonfly. He, he's alright. Why is he a dragon type? I don't know. I don't know. Why is he a ground type? Well, I definitely don't know that. But he's there. His Vibrava is a middle evolution. And Flygon goes up here. I mean, come on. I love Flygon, dude. This Pokemon's awesome. He's pretty good. He's not great, but he's pretty good. He's a ground dragon. Levitate. Like, that's decent. Uh, screw fairy types, but you know, it's, it's fun. You know, Flygon's out here. Yeah, you know. If you need a Pokemon to fly around in, I fly around on in Hoenn, might as well be Flygon. Because it's not going to be Salamence. It's hella not getting that Pokemon anytime soon. And what, are you going to use Pelipper? Or Swellow? In Gen 3? Please. Please. Cacnea. A tier. Entirely because of the anime. I love that Pokemon. It is incredible. And the episode where James gave it to Gardenia was heartbreaking. I guess spoilers, but that came out like 10 years ago, so if you don't watch the Pokemon anime, then you know what? You can just deal with it. You can deal with it. Uh, I don't really like Cacturn, but he's alright. He has a pretty cool design. He's got like a hat. I like hats. Yep. Swablu is pretty lame. Altaria, I actually like a lot. Altaria is a floofy, poofy, birdie dragon. Why is it a dragon? I don't know. It's a dragon, though. I guess if you didn't want to use Flygon, you could use Altaria. Flygon's better, for sure, in Gen 3 at least. But Altaria's there. I am not going to go on my Mega Rants again. I won't do it. Maybe I'll do it a little. I love Mega Altaria. I miss her. Okay, I'm over it. Uh, Zangoose, pretty cool. Uh, first time I saw this Pokemon was in XD Gale of Darkness. I don't know, it's down like a broken record, but you know, he's a cool Pokemon. He was cool in that, because his trainer kind of looked like him. I was like, oh, nice. Cool Shadow Pokemon. You could steal it later. You know. Uh, so Viper's basically just, you know, anti Zangoose. He's a snake. Got that mongoose snake thing going on, where they like kill each other. I guess. I like how they like naturally have scars on their bodies. So it looks like, oh, they fight each other all the time, but like if you hatch them out of an egg, they have it, so. <laughs> so what about that? I don't know. It's like, um. Hmm. R reminds me a lot of uh, social situations. Stays. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna elaborate on that. Lunatone! Hideous. This hideous, approximately, honestly. It's a terrible looking Pokemon. Why does it have a duck bill? It can't even open the duck bill either. It's just there. Like, why? I hate this Pokemon. It isn't cute. It isn't good. It isn't anything. It isn't anything. Who's gonna buy a Lunatone plushie, bro? That's gonna stab you in the eye while you're sleeping. Get it out of here. Solrock kinda has the same issues, but doesn't have a duck bill. And it's got like those weed eyes going on. Like, bro, what's going on? So I like it. I like it. Barboach. Little, little spermy fella. Little, little spermy fella, you know? He's, he's going. He's wiggling. He is a muddy wiggler. Yep. I hope you have fun thinking about that. Uh, Whiskash. B. Love this Pokemon. He's really fun to use. Like, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Whiskash. It's great. Um... Yeah, you know, and he helps you evolve in Red and Blue Rescue Team. So, way to go, Whiskash, you know? He's, he's a cool lad. 
and he eats a master ball in an episode. Pow power to you. Um, Crawdon is good and cool, and I'm putting him in B tier. You're know, like, what? What is this? What is this fresh bullshit? You're not even following your own rules. Yeah, whatever. I, I like to live life on the edge. Because I'm just so e edgy. Yeah, anyway. Crawdont is there in Crawdont land. Baltoy. It's okay, I guess. Claydol's really cool. I like that episode with the giant Claydol that was shooting hyper beams and destroying the whole world and then they destroyed it for some reason. I don't know how they did it. I don't remember actually. But you know what? Claydol is cool. He's got one eye open, one eye closed all the way around him for some reason. I don't know. Maybe he just is blinking in the still frame and when you use him, he's just, you know. When he switches what eyes are open. He doesn't, but. Whatever, he's cool. I like his design, it's unique. Um, the Leap? Probably B tier. He's alright. He's unique, he's purple. He's got wigglers. Little. He's got a little heartless in there. Um, yeah, you know, he just, just, he's a cocktail. That's what he is. He's a shrimp cocktail. You go, Lilip. Be in that. Cradilly, though. I love this Pokemon. Don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you. I love Cradilly, though. I love its color scheme. The green and yellow and pink. Looks good. He's got, like, the little heartless thing going on. He's got, like, the fake eyes. He's got, like... He kind of looks like a ninja. With, like, tentacles. These things, like, stretch, too. And his neck, like, stretches. And he's got, like, a little plesiosaur, flabby, little stubby body. It's really cute. And he's got a little tail back there, too. I know you can't see it, but he has one. Um, yeah, I like this Pokemon a lot. I don't know. I just do. Um, Anorith is fine. Maybe less fine than that. There you go. There you go, Anorith. Yep. Oh, he's like a feathery little boy. Uh, Armaldo's cool. I have nothing to say about Armaldo. I never pick him. Um, I never see him. He's not that good. I think he's rock and bug type. I think. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. Some people like him. I kind of like his design. He's got holes in his arms, though. He's got, like, wings, but he can't fly. Yeah, moving on. Feebass is lame. But he's supposed to be lame. So he doesn't go on F tier. I know that sounds like a cop-out, but you know what? Yeah. My loading is great. I love this Pokemon. It looks awesome. It's pretty good. Um, I like the way that you evolve Feebas, at least in Gen 3. It's really interesting. You max out its beauty in contests, and then it, like, believes in itself or something. Then it evolves into something that's actually beautiful. I think it's a really neat concept, and it's a good Pokemon. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, cast form. Poor cast form, man. It has so much potential to be a cool Pokemon, to be a good Pokemon even. But instead, it's just the ball guy. He's just balls. Everyone makes fun of this poor little ball guy, who can only use Weather Ball really, and die. He's so bad. Like... Does his forms even give him stats? 
Hold on, let me check this in another window. So no, actually... His forms don't give him stats. They're just bad. Just like him. And he doesn't even have a sandstorm. It's a form. And I know you're thinking... Well, actually, um, Seljay, uh... He doesn't have a sand form because sandstorm isn't, uh, weather. Uh, but snow and rain and sun are. And yeah, I guess you're right. But what if Castworm had a form for sand, and had a form for all the terrains, and had a special move that wasn't weather ball that changed types to all of those, and he gained like 15 stats across the board for every, like, when he's in a form. He'd be pretty okay. Even then he wouldn't be broken. But he'd be fine. I don't know. It's just wasted potential. Um, Kecleon. I like a lot. Maybe I just like it because of Mystery Dungeon. I don't know. Maybe I just like getting my ass beat by a lizard. But you know what? He's a chameleon. He's cool. He dance. He turn invisible except for the red stripe for some reason. He play hide and seek in Pokemon XD. And I've got a chameleon. In the other room. I don't know if you've seen him in a video so far. I don't know if I've had him in a video so far. But you'll probably meet him eventually. Um, uh, Yeah. He's cool. I like him. Shuppet is adorable. Don't know what is in his head that is holding that sheet up. Wink wonk. But you know what? I like Shuppet. Shuppet's cute. Bayonet is kind of weird. Kind of cool. Kind of alright. He's really bad in this gen, as far as I remember. Sorry. Sorry, Bayonet. Duskull is pretty cool. He's kind of edgy, but he's cool. He's pretty unique. He's got the one eye that goes back and forth. He's in the opening, Ruby and Sapphire. I like him. I like him. And then we have Dusclops, which is good. He's a good Pokemon. Um, yeah, I think I don't think he's always been a good Pokemon. No, I think he has. No, he hasn't. Yeah, in Gen 4, I think he wasn't a good Pokemon. But I'm pretty sure in Emerald, he was like Yu Yu. And in Gen 4, he fell down to like Enyu because he got an evolution that was just better. And the ghost typing was kind of whack with his, like, physical attack. I think Dustin Moore himself is worse, too. Yeah, everything is... Ugh, fourth gen was not good to Dustin Moore or Dust Globes, but Dustin was not good to so I don't know. But fifth gen introduced Eviolite, which made Dust Clops pretty good. He was, like, you you the whole gen, I think. He might have been RU for a little while. And in 6th gen, I think he was UU and RU for most of the gen as well. Not Dusnor, but Dusclops was. I th think in 7th gen he fell off a bit though. Maybe he was an RU. And now I don't think you see him at all. I don't know if he's in Sword and Shield meta right now, but... I don't know. I don't know how good he's doing right now. But I liked him. Yep. <laughs> um. Tropius, I like. I know I'm putting him in B tier after saying I like him. But I put Pokemon I like in B tier. Um. You know, he's cool. He's like a long neck dinosaur with wings. He can fly with those somehow. He's got bananas on his neck. He, uh, you know, 
He's got a interesting, like, dragon dance, harvest, like, wacky sunset. He's very unique to use. He's fun to use. He's not great. Grass flying is pretty weak. But I like him. Um, not only do I like him, but, like, I remember I used him a lot in, uh, Red and Blue Rescue Team, I think? And I had the super creative name for Tropius of Grassfly. No. Y'all are jealous, but... Me and Grassfly go way back. Alright, Kameko. It's adorable. Um, love it in the anime. It's terrible, but, you know. It's great. I like it. Sorry, people who don't like Kameko and wanted me to rate it lower. Absolsby. There was a time in my life I would have put Absol in S. But it's kind of bad. And it's been bad the whole time it's been out. Except for when it had Omega and then it was pretty good. But wowee. This Pokemon is disappointing. It's cool. It's got an alright speed stat and a pretty good attack stat, but like... Man, in Gen 3 especially? We can do Sweep with Razor Wind? Oh, ugh, bleh. Uh, why not's adorable? I like it. Why not? Yeah. Snow Run is adorable, and I like Snow Run. It's like a little, little fella with, with a tent on his head. Well, I think he's cone-shaped himself, so maybe it's just like a blanket. And the thing he's holding around him isn't cone-shaped, but he's cone-shaped, and it makes it cone-shaped because that's just how it's working, you know? You know. You get it. You're smart. I get you. Glalie. It's kind of lame, actually. I don't like Glalie. He's just bomb from Final Fantasy. Changed my mind. Except he's ice-type. And, um... His Mega just delivers on the idea that Glalie has, but actually is good. Uh, Sfeel is Sfeel. That's all I gotta say. Celio's alright. Walrin's alright. Clam Pearl. This is a hard one to judge. Like, do I like Clam Pearl? It's kind of unique and interesting. Oh, I'm putting it in D tier. Like, you never see this one. Gorbis and Tontail as well. Like, yeah. I'll put Huntail in C. Huntail's kind of vibing, at least. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. At least for now. Relicanth? B tier. I like Relicanth. I like Head Smash, Rock Smash, Relicanth. That's good. Rock Smash? Head Smash, Rock Head. I probably said that. I probably didn't say that, actually. Never mind. Love Disc is trash. Sorry, Love Disc. Bagon is cool. Shellgon isn't that cool. <laughs> and Salamence is cool. Yeah, I have no qualms. Beldum is cool. Metang is cool. And Metagross is even cooler. Yeah, um... I like the whole Bagon thing where it's like, oh, it wishes to fly and it keeps jumping off a cliff and smashing its head in. And then eventually it evolves into a dragon and can fly around. It's like, oh, that's cute. It's a good Pokemon. It's always been a good Pokemon. Sometimes it's been you, you, but it's just how it is when you're four times weak to ice. If a good ice type Pokemon is too good in you, know, then it's just what do you do? Fairy types suck. Uh, screw fairy types. Kind of ruined it for him, but you know, it's there. I never really used him. He was really hard to find, and it took a long time to train Bagon. And Bagon and Shellgon are not that good. So it was rough. Um, Metagross, on the other hand, 
I mean, also pretty rare, but, um, I love this Pokemon. He is really cool. He, in game, he is incredible. Um, in like showdown, he's still pretty good. He's pretty good. I don't know if he's RU right now. I don't know if he's in the game right now, actually. But he's usually UU. He's like a staple of UU. Sometimes he's even OU. Um, Mega Metagross was a mistake, but you know what? That's fine. It was cool when it lasted. Um, Metagross was the first Pokemon that I shiny hunted. Or I guess I bred for it, so it doesn't really count as shiny hunting. No, it does. You know what? It does. I say it does, so it does. And I was really proud of it. He was great and cool, and I loved him a lot. And then I lost that cartridge, and it took me like literally 900 plus Beldums. That was rough. But he's a cool Pokemon. He's good. Yeah. One of my best Pokemon in Pokemon Go, too. Um, Regirock. He's fine. Regiice is kind of dumb. Registeel is also fine, but better than Regirock, so he gets to be put in A tier. I don't believe that. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Latias. Easy S tier. Fantastic Pokemon. Love its design. Latios. Easy S tier. Fantastic Pokemon. Love its design. No, seriously though, the movie was great. Probably the best Pokemon movie, in my opinion. Maybe. I'd have to think on it a little bit, but without thinking about it, probably the best Pokemon movie. Um, I love using these Pokemon. They're good. They're versatile. They're cool and or cute. It's good. I like them. Kyogre. Alright. I don't know if this is a hot take. Probably not. Easily the best legendary trio in the entire game. Best box legendaries. Best trio. Jeez Louise. If these are not S tier Pokemon, I don't know what is. Kyogre is so cool. He's got giant fingers, he's got glowing tattoos, he's like an orca whale, he's got ribbon tail, bro. He's awesome, he's broken. It was the first time we saw Drizzle, which was a disgusting ability. I mean, it still kind of is, but uh, the game's kind of balanced around weather now, so it's not as broken, but still. Still. It's good. Oh man, but yeah, like Drizzle, Thunder, like the Hydro Pump. Actually, not even pr Hydro Pump because it's got Origin Pulse now. Oh man, it's <sighs> Super Forms aren't on here because they're technically six gen Pokemon, but they basically look the same and they look awesome. They look really good. Like the color schemes of these Pokemon look awesome. They look strong. They are strong. They're so good. Groudon, he's kind of the same. I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be. Probably like a... I don't know. Some kind of monitor. Some kind of like desert lizard of some kind, maybe. Like, maybe he's supposed to be like a thick armadillo. I don't know. But whatever he is, he's cool. He's got the black lines that also glow. Um, they don't glow black, of course, because that doesn't make sense. But, you know. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. Man, you... When you find the Groudon Kyogre at the bottom of the sea, or like in that volcano, in Emerald anyway, you find the mold at the bottom of the sea in Ruby and Sapphire, but whatever. It's just like, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. They're so good. Their designs are awesome. Precipice Blades and Origin Pulse are like the two coolest names for moves ever. Rayquaza is easily my favorite legendary Pokemon, though. Do not get it backwards. It is a giant green lizard, dragon, like monstrosity, like warhead. Um, this thing is hella aerodynamic. It glows yellow. It lives in a tower, like thousands and thousands of feet high. Like it lives up in the clouds, protecting the world, like um, in the ozone layer from like alien threats. 
It's so cool in the Deoxys movie, man. It's so cool. Even if it doesn't really win against Deoxys, he does a good job. Rayquaza is so... he's just so cool. And Shiny Rayquaza is black. And Black Rayquaza is hella mega edgy, but super cool. I love it. It's awesome. I don't have enough praise for these three Pokemon, honestly. Definitely the best box art legendaries. Um, Jirachi is great. Jirachi's adorable. Jirachi's movie is okay. It best. But, you know, I like the three wishes thing, you know, he's like a little genie, he sleeps for a thousand years after you make your wishes. Or is it only one wish with Jirachi, even though he has three little things on his head, I don't know. But, um, yeah, you know, Jirachi, a tragic Pokemon. But that doesn't really translate into gameplay, so who cares? He's good. He's got a pixie stat line, so he's 100 across the board. You know, he's got good sets to support it. He's got Serene Grace. Bro, Jirachi's good. Fun to use. Cute design. Like, the ideal of, like, a good Pokemon. Right there. If, although, keep this in mind. Every Pokemon cannot be like Jirachi because then Jirachi would not be like Jirachi. And if that doesn't make sense to you, then I am sorry that you are not smart enough to understand. Deoxys is awesome and uh, will always be awesome. He's like a DNA alien, super cool, transforming, like, monster. Defense form Deoxys is so tanky and ha is so good at support. And attack form Deoxys one-shots everything in the game. Pretty much, bar none. You life orb that thing, you use Psycho Shift, it is over. It's over! They're all gone! Like, Attack Form Deoxys is so strong! Incredibly strong! Like, I used Attack Form Deoxys a lot when fighting my friends in 6th gen. And yeah, okay, I knew I was scum and degenerate for doing it. Because that Pokemon so ubers, it's not even funny. But, I had a good time doing it. I had a good time. And that's what matters, right? Right. Uh, Speed Form Deoxys is fast and can set up like crazy. Does pretty good damage still. It outspeeds pretty much everything in the game. Everything base speed wise, pretty much. I, I don't think anything's faster than it is actually. I can look this up, but I, I think I'm right here. Yeah, okay, I'm right. There are some Pokemon in Sword and Shield that are really trying to be super fast, like holy moly. Why is Ice Q so fast? But, they're not there. Speed Form Deoxys is, is the guy. I'd put them all on S tier, so it doesn't matter that there's only Normal Deoxys here. Normal Deoxys himself is kind of pointless to use, though. Because why not just use Defense Form or Attack Form? He's... He doesn't live. So, yeah. Oh, that's all of them. Alright, I'm gonna order the tier. And then I'll be right back. I, I don't know. Maybe I won't be. Well, I will be, but maybe I will talk about it. I don't know. Okay. That's my finished S tier for now. Well, I'm not really focused on it, but, you know, I, you know I'll do S tier first, because that's the one that matters the most. Or maybe it's not. That's how I feel. This is a good S tier for me. Uh, Rayquaza is just the coolest Pokemon ever. Um, Cornelius is probably my favorite non Rayquaza Pokemon, though. So, you know, he's here. A lot of Hoenn Pokemon are just so cool. But they had a lot of legendaries, and a lot of their legendaries are why they're so cool, so... Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's not fair. But anyway, on, on to A tier. Okay, I think this is a good A tier. I should probably just stop cutting in in the middle of all of these, like, ordering things. Oh, maybe, like, you're seeing this and you're like, wow, really? Salamence is that low on your A tier? And you like Bagon more than him? Then I'd have to, like, go and justify myself and go, yeah, Bagon is adorable and has little stubby arms, and when I see a Bagon, I want to catch him. But you don't really catch Salamence, 
And by the time he's a Salamence, like, do you even still care? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't usually. But he's cool still. But he's not my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna get flagged for that. Um. And it's like, why is Beldum at the top? It's like, I don't know. Because I feel the same way about Beldum as I do with Bagon, except more so. It's like, I see a Beldum, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Beldum. Oh! Then I catch it. Then I'm excited. And then I get Metagross, who is cool. Who is in S tier. So I guess maybe it's not the exact same. But. Whatever. It's fine. I like the little takedown in arm with a head. It's not even a head, it's just an eyeball. Yeah. Nice. Oh. <sighs> But yeah, I'll just order them and then talk about it after I'm done. Okay, I ordered everything. Basically the only difference, well I mean other than it being ordered now, is uh, I moved Vibrava up to B tier. I just thought, do I really like Vibrava less than Trico? And I was like, no. No, I don't. And uh, otherwise, I think, you know, this is pretty accurate. Um, I don't think any of these are... Too spicy of hot takes. Maybe Hariyama. I think a lot of people like him. But... I'd, I'd say these takes are... Pretty lukewarm at best. So, uh... Yeah. Let me know how you feel in the comments. And, uh, I'll see you next time.